Hey Ringsiders, this is your host, Boxing Subjective Observer, and welcome back to Ringside Stories. Feel free to like and share. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell if you enjoy the content. Less than one month away, and let's just hope all goes through, and we'll see Anthony Joshua defend his three world title belts against mandatory challenger Oleksandr Usyk. Looking very much forward to this clash because of all the challenges both AJ and Oleksandr will offer each other. The beautiful part of boxing is that everyone sees things their way, everyone has their own opinion. However, things aren't so black and white in this sport as there are multiple sides to each story. And Joshua versus Usyk is no different. No, I do look at my weight, but it's not like I'm not trying to make weight, I'm a heavyweight at the end of the day. So what I tend to do is I tailor my training. So I'm looking trim for this fight. I'm fighting a guy who's a 12 round fighter. Do you know what I mean? So it would be silly of me to go in there bulky um, with, with my muscles screaming for oxygen. Um, I've been training like a 15 round fighter in this camp and I'll be well conditioned to fight. So that's the key. I think AJ versus Usyk is close to a 50-50 fight, giving it a slight edge to Joshua as of right now. Now I will do a prediction after I've completed my assessment as soon as we draw closer to the fight. But for now, I'd like to add some context to this Joshua Usyk buildup so far, because a lot of people are of the opinion that Anthony Joshua just steamrolls Alexander Usyk. Check out these clips from the Mayweather channel, date of recording November 18, 2018. Back then, Joshua was still undefeated, coming of a 7th round TKO victory over Russian's Alexander Povetkin. Alexander Usyk had just defended his undisputed cruiserweight world championship against former WBC cruiserweight champ Tony Bomber Bellew, with talks of Usyk moving up to heavyweight. Usyk, Anthony Joshua. Usyk, Anthony Joshua. I think Anthony Joshua too big. What are you talking about right now? Fighting the year. I still think he's too big. Okay, he's still too big. I'm going to go with Anthony Joshua. He's the bigger guy. Uh, he's going to go in there and he's just very talented, so I think he's got it. Okay. One for Joshua. I mean, I'll go with Anthony Joshua. Uh, he was a, he was a, he's a good, uh, um, he's a good cruiserweight fighter. He, he does a lot of. Soon, right? Nah, not too soon. I don't think it'll be too soon. But. He got, he got talent, but uh, like they say in boxing, good big man, big good little man. Usyk hasn't proved himself in the heavyweight. And I think he's going to have to go through some people to, to get to Joshua. So we're going to see how he does against, you know, the other opposition in the heavyweight. But I mean, if it's happening right now, I'll put my money on Joshua to stop him. Anthony Joshua. Joshua? Yeah. Why? Um... Well, they both got the, 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 the heavy punch, right? You know, uh, but Anthony Josh is, would just run over him, you know? He so? Yeah, heavyweight, man. He's I mean, heavyweight, but what's his name? He's gonna be heavyweight soon. He, he is pretty big. Cruiserweight, right? Yeah, he's 200 pounds already, so all you gotta do is add probably another 15 pounds. He'll be like a Tyson. Maybe. It could be, it could be 60, 70, man. That, that, that fight's pretty, not that you put it like that, it's pretty even, but I still go with my boy Joshua, man. That, that, Joshua. That's the boy Joshua, man. Can't go wrong with him. Now, anything can happen in boxing, especially in the heavyweight division. I just think Usyk brings some intricacies no one else does. So what makes Anthony Joshua versus Alexander Usyk very interesting is how well AJ deals with these unique challenges. As much as how Usyk copes with the strength and power of a full-fledged super heavyweight. Here's an interview with undefeated British heavyweight Fabio Wortley assessing the Ukrainian's chances as he sparred both Joshua and Usyk in the past. Shout out pro boxing fans for this. The thing is with Usyk, I've, I've not been too convinced since he's been a heavyweight. Like I was probably one of the, the, the biggest supporters of him when he first made that transition from cruiserweight to heavyweight before he'd had a fight. But then since he's had his fights at heavyweight, I think I just felt that he hasn't kicked on how we thought he might have. Um, for whatever reasons they may be, and some of the performances and some of the way he's gone about it have not been as clean and clinical as they were down at cruiserweight. So that begs the question, is there still 
is he not adjusting to kind of the heavyweights, the size, the style, the different kind of fight that it is as easy as we thought he might. But um, but either way, it doesn't take away from that he's still a great fight for him and Joshua. And an interesting one for Joshua as well to see how he deals with such a such a difficult southpaw. So Fabio is talking from own experiences. Then there are pundits who share the same opinion as Fabio Worley. And then some. What Yusuk has shown so far as a heavyweight, he hasn't. I'm not convinced he's going to do well as a heavyweight. Obviously, he was the undisputed cruiserweight champion of the world. Uh, he's made that transition into uh, fighting in the heavyweight division. Yeah, Usyk's good. He's a world-class cruiserweight. Proved it. But uh, AJ is a big dude, and he's got a good, a good uh, array of boxing skills. You know, he's a big strong man and I just think he's all round too good for Usyk. What he has shown so far against Chez with his spoon was his first fight as a heavyweight. Um, I wasn't impressed and when Chizora, if he called it a draw nobody would have screamed. Okay, um, I thought he nicked it, just about nicked it, but he laboured. He laboured in the first three, four rounds. He didn't know what the hell was happening to him because this is a fully blown uh, heavyweight he's now facing in the name of Chizora. So um, he managed to use his uh, pedigree from the Olympic amateur background to be able to try not pot shot Derek and he did yeah, and, and scored some good points and won the fight. Um, then you're going straight from that performance which wasn't a very good performance into fighting well if not the best it's arguable between Joshua and Fury who is number one yeah so it's a big jump in my opinion um, I, I think he gets it stopped. The yeah, AJ knocks uh, Yusik out very conclusively. Left to right, left jab stroke cross that puts Yusik down or out. And then he just ping, 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 ping. That, that, that Pulev fight told me what I needed to know about AJ in terms of where he is now, patience wise, and he's in his prime now. And this is where you're going to see the guy out there. Okay, you tricky Southwell Olympic champion, oh, good for you. <laughs> Undisputed cruiserweight champion, yeah, great. bam, 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 bam. Go to sleep, and that's it. That's going to be pretty brutal. Don't get me wrong, he is quick. There's, there's not to take away from that. He is, he is, he is very quick. But his, the thing is with it, it's not, it's not just that he's quick, it's timing. Everything is so, his timing and everything is so well timed. His movement of everything is so comfortable and so just nothing there's no foot out of place he never seems like he's out of he never seems uncomfortable in any circumstance any situation he's in he always seems to be very in control not just of his body but just of the ring and everything that's going on around him um which is why i was always so impressed whenever i'd go and spar him and stuff because I'd, I'd really put it on him and put him in trying awkward and different situations and he'd always just seem so comfortable with himself i think the problem with Usyk is he's 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 not ever going to naturally be able to gain weight and, and you know put on a stone and a half which is what he needs to do even to get up to a reasonable weight for a heavyweight he will give joshua problems early on with his with his trickery and his boxing skills but eventually uh, eventually joshua will get to him and either grind him down and stop him or beat him on a lopsided unanimous decision. Whenever I was there, there was never any um, cruiserweights there. He was, he was always sparring heavyweights. He was right. always sparring the bigger guys. So it's, that's why I always thought the transition wouldn't be particularly difficult for him. But sparring is difficult to the fight. As stated, it would be very interesting to find out how Usyk reacts if and when he gets hit flush by an elite super heavyweight. Again, Usyk has a wide array of skill but will these be enough to keep AJ off? I believe his tactic will be to run, 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 run uh, away from Joshua. He's his only chance, but can you run for 12 rounds? Now what Don Charles states is a double standard. I mean, didn't AJ apply the same strategy against Andy Ruiz in the rematch? Ah, but then it's called outboxing a guy. But when Usyk, who is a known mover and boxer, steps in with Joshua, it's called running. But I'm sure what Don Charles stated is what a lot of people, including casual fans, think when they assess the fight between AJ and Usyk. I think it's a 55-45 type fight in favor of Anthony Joshua, in my opinion. But don't just rule Usyk out just yet. People cannot just disregard the Ukrainian 
just because he's the smaller man on fight night. You know, he's got fast hands, uh, Joshua, and he can punch. So, and if he does connect, he'll, he'll be able to do damage. But then again, he can't load up, you know, he's, he's got to really take his time, get behind his boxing. Because Usyk is, uh, he's a real deal, this guy, he's not no mug, you know, he's not too small of an heavyweight. I've listened to all the press and all that. It's a serious fight, a slightly edge uh, AJ in it because of the size and the power ratio. But I wouldn't outrule uh, Usyk. I think it's probably 49% to 50%. Usyk. It's a lot better fighter than people realize he is. What do you make of the pundits' assessment? Let us know in the comments below. If you're new to the channel, we make content about combat sports and boxing from a unique point of view. So if you enjoy that type of content, feel free to subscribe, hit the like button, and switch on all notifications. That's how you'll know when the next Fire Vidi drops. Welcome to Ringside Stories. Now, if you've done that already, you're awesome. You already know that. You are the true undisputed world champion. Till next time, Ringsiders, this is your host, Boxing's Objective Observer with Ringside Stories. Thanks for watching and have a legendary day.